The land of the Mare Lion is a glossy and colorful one. It is rich in culture, art, and natural beauty. While there are many places in Singapore that you have heard of, such as the beautiful garden by the bay or Sentosa Island, what you may not have heard about are some of Singapore's death-defying haunted places. In this video, we are going to look at the six spookiest places in Singapore, and these spooky places have ghost stories that will have you running to the edge of the world to test your guts. So, sit back and enjoy the video. First, Cemetery of the Bukit Brown. An abandoned Chinese cemetery in Singapore, known as the Bukit Brown Cemetery, is said to be one of the spookiest places in the world. Founded in 1922, the cemetery served as the last resting place for many well-known Chinese families and emigrants to the U.S. Today, many of the graves are covered by moss and vine, as the cemetery grounds have been neglected and overgrown. Despite its state of decay, the cemetery is still a popular spot for paranormal and ghost hunting due to its reputation as being haunted. Local people believe the cemetery is the resting place of many ghosts and spirits who have been displaced by the construction of nearby highways and other developments. Inside the cemetery, visitors have reported seeing ghost-like figures, hearing strange noises that can't be explained, and feeling a sense of unease. A wealthy businessman who was buried in a grand tomb in the cemetery at Bukit Brown is one of the well-known ghosts that haunt the area. A local urban legend says that the construction of the nearby motorway disturbed the spirit of this businessman. Since then, people have seen him wandering around the cemetery late at night. Another area of the cemetery that is said to be haunted is the grave of the so-called Red Lady. The Red Lady was a famous Singapore socialite who died in the 1950s in a car crash. According to legend, her grave is marked by a red gravestone, and visitors claim to see her ghostly figure walking around the cemetery at night. Second, OLD Changi Hospital. Old Changi Hospital is an old military hospital located in Singapore. It is well known for its ghostly history and supernatural occurrences. During World War II, the Japanese used the hospital, which was built in 1935 by the British colonial government, as a medical facility for their troops. After the war, the British Army took over the hospital and converted it into a military hospital to provide medical care for service members and their families. The hospital was closed in 1997. Since then, ghost hunters and curious people have made it their mission to visit Old Changi Hospital. It is said that the hospital is haunted by the ghosts of former patients, servicemen, and nurses who died while working there. Some guests have reported seeing ghosts, hearing strange noises, and experiencing feelings of fear and anxiety. The old Changi Hospital is said to be haunted by the ghost of a woman called Pontianak, one of the oldest myths associated with the hospital. According to the mythology surrounding the hospital, Pontianak was the malevolent spirit of a woman who was killed in childbirth, seeking vengeance on men. According to some, Pontiana can be seen in the maternity department of Old Changi Hospital, where she keeps crying for her long-lost child. The operating theater is also said to be one of the hospital's most haunted areas. Visitors have reported seeing apparitions of doctors and nurses performing surgeries, as well as hearing the sound of surgical instruments being operated on. Another place at the facility is the hospital's basement, which is considered to be a hotbed of paranormal activity, with reports of ghostly characters cold areas, and unexplained noises. Despite being one of the most haunted places in Singapore, Old Changi Hospital remains a popular tourist attraction and has been the subject of numerous supernatural movies and TV shows. Those interested in the unexplained and paranormal should definitely visit this structure due to its spooky vibe and spooky past. Third, the Mount of Sophia. Mount Sophia is located in the heart of Singapore and is well known for its spooky history and reported paranormal activity at the peak. In the early 1900s, Mount Sophia was covered with mansions and was considered one of the wealthiest and most desirable neighborhoods in all of Singapore. Nowadays, the neighborhood is a mix of private homes and public housing, but the area is still haunted. Tourists who have traveled through the area have reported seeing ghostly creatures, hearing strange noises for which there is no logical explanation, and experiencing feelings of fear and unease. The former Mount Sophia Methodist Girls' School is one of the spookiest places on the hill and was opened in 1887. 
It is said that the school is haunted by the ghost of one of its former students who killed himself by jumping off the top of its clock tower. Mount Sophia's old school building is believed to be another haunted site on the mountain. The building, which used to be known as the School for the Blind, was later converted into the administrative center for the Singapore Police Force. Some guests claim to have felt the eerie atmosphere inside the building, while others have seen ghost-like figures roaming the corridors. Mount Sophia isn't just known for its ghostly structures, it is also home to the sprawling Christian cemetery. It is said to be haunted by the ghosts of the people buried there, as it is home to the final resting places of thousands of early Christian pioneers. Visitors to the Christian cemetery claim to see ghost-like figures moving among the tombs, as well as hearing sounds that can't be described. 4. Palo Tekong Palo Tekong is uninhabited and is located to the north-northeast of Singapore's main island. The majority of the Singapore Armed Forces military training took place on this island. However, it is well known for being haunted, and due to its location, it is considered a hub of paranormal activity. Malay tradition says that a Pontianak, a female vampire, lives on the island. It is said that one of the Pontianaks feeds on unwary soldiers during their training exercises on the island. On the island, many soldiers have reported feelings of unease and hearing strange noises for which there are no rational explanations, especially in the area known as Haunted Hill. It is believed that the Chinese originally used the island as a cemetery and the ghosts of the deceased are said to wander the grounds. It is also said that Palo Tekong is the home of many other ghosts and other evil things. In addition to Pontianak, it is believed that there is another mysterious oracle named Orang Minyak on Palo Tekong Island. According to Malay legends, this Orang Minyak is described as an oily, dark-skinned humanoid with superhuman strength who preys on young women. According to some stories, there are ghost sightings, unexplained lights, and strange sounds coming from the island's forests. Some people believe that these occurrences are due to the island's troubled past, which includes being used as a camp for prisoners of war during World War II. Fifth, Istana Woodnook. Istana Woodnook is an old building in Singapore that once served as a royal palace. It has a long and disturbing history. Completed in 1892, Istana Woodnook served as the residence of the royal family until the 20th century when it was abandoned and fell into disrepair. Despite the fact that it is in disrepair, it is still a popular spot for ghost hunters and other paranormal aficionados who want to experience the palace's ghostly past. While visiting the disused palace, some visitors have reported seeing ghostly apparitions, hearing sounds for which there are no rational explanations, and experiencing a sense of dread. The Pontianak is one of the most famous ghost stories related to Astana Woodnook. It is said that the ghost of the murdered pregnant lady haunts the neighborhood like a Pontianak, which is a female vampire in Southeast Asian mythology. According to local people, the woman was murdered on the palace grounds. Another place rumored to be haunted in this palace is the Grand Ballroom. Guests have reported seeing ghostly figures dance in the Grand Ballroom and others claim to have felt a sense of dread in chewy spots nearby. In addition to its reputation for being haunted, the palace has a frightening history. During World War II, the Japanese administration used the palace as a place to hold the prisoners of war. Many prisoners were abused and executed on the palace's grounds. Some believe that their spirits are still present nearby. Although the palace is no longer open to the general public, there are still a few brave souls who venture into the abandoned palace in the hopes of discovering more about the mysterious and unsellable history of the palace. For anyone who is planning to do such an adventure, please keep in mind that it is illegal to trespass on the palace grounds and is punishable by severe penalties. Sixth, Tanglin Hill Brunei Hostel. It is said that Tanglin Hill Hostel is one of the spookiest places in Singapore and it has been abandoned for a long time. Back in the 50s, the people of Brunei were really struggling. There weren't enough teachers to teach them, so they had to send a lot of their students to other countries to learn. One of those places was Singapore. This hostel was built in 1958 and it is a four-story structure and it was given to the students to stay until the foreign study program ended in 1983. Because of its troubled history, the hostel has a reputation for being haunted. 
One of the rooms is said to have been the site of a suicide that happened in the 1960s involving a female student. Many people who have stayed at the rundown hostel claim to have seen the ghostly apparition of the student, leading to the popular belief that she may still be haunting the hostel. People have also said that objects move by themselves and that they feel an unseen presence. Graffiti on the walls of this abandoned building adds to the ghostliness of the hostel. It is believed that the warnings written on the walls are from the ghosts that live in the building and it is written in both Malay and English. Some people believe that the graffiti is the work of occultists who use the hostel for their rituals. Even though the hostel is known for its ghostliness, it is still a popular destination for people who want to go on an adventure. If you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, I encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.